So I'll be here with my brother Ariel, you know, he do an amazing thing in the Latino community, in the Spanish community, he teaching a lot of people in Spanish. I want to say thank you to him. Right now we're going to pick it up some yellow dog. So I want to I want to ask some questions about him. What he think about the Spanish community, where we are in the Spanish community, you know, in the comunidad que habla español, que es lo que necesitamos como en nuestra comida, que es lo que falta en la, yeah. en la educación. Yo creo que en inglés o en español, brother. You can say en inglés o en español, whatever. The Latino community is very confused right now. And we are very sick. We never were sicker than we are now. And if there's one thing that I believe we desperately need as Latinos is just a little bit of love. Just a little bit. I, I, I truly believe that's the start that, that will bring true change and, and deep change. Because if you just add a little bit of love to where, to whom? To your girlfriend? No. To your mom? No. To yourself. Just put a little bit of love to yourself and then you will start thinking uh, whenever you're about to, to make a bad decision for your body and for your health. Just try to love yourself every day a little bit more. And be patient with yourself too. And, and, and don't get discouraged when you make a mistake and you're in your journey of change. That's what we need in the Latino community. A lot of love and a lot of patience. Love to want to make you want to change and stop doing negative things to your body and patience to, to be able to, you know, forgive yourself. That's all. I think that's it, brother. Obviously, there's a lot of herbs. We need all the herbs too. When, but when you said when you say stop doing negative things to your body, what are you talking about? About what? Like some yeah. people want to know about that. Yeah, like once we know that as Latinos, for example, corn is something that is bad for us, then we have to think twice every single time we want to eat corn. And some people might not be able to let go you know forever but at least if they if they know they want to make change and they love themselves they won't eat it as much things like eating corn is damaging your body smoking damages your body living in a big city also damages your body so sometimes you even have to have enough love for you to want to leave uh, a toxic place or a toxic community relationships that are negative affect your body too and your mind so anything that hurts the body has to slowly go you know no. but i want to uh, i want to you tell the people where are you from where are you from yes I'm, i was born in michoacan in uruapan michoacan mexico that's south of mexico when you start to learn about the rattlesnake, because a lot of people in the United yeah. States want to start to mention about rattlesnake. Like you, for example, you come from Mexico. Yeah. You know how many healers in Mexico be using the rattlesnake. Yes. I want to let it know the people, you know, with that condition, you know the rattlesnake can help you, you know. Yes, rattlesnake, definitely an electric animal and it's very good for your health. It's good for cancer. It's good for for any cancer in the blood specifically, but it will also help you if you have lung cancer, if you have um, cancer de mama, if you breast have cancer. anemia. Cancer de mama is um, yeah breast cancer. Breast cancer, yes. HIV, uh, HIV, and diabetes. Diabetes. It, it will also also uh, boost the nervous system and the immune system as well. It's very important to, to know the benefits of rattlesnake. It's some, it's a little bit scary, but at the same time, we cow and we chicken and pork, you can eat some rattlesnake to heal, but also you don't have to eat it all the time. It shouldn't be part of your diet. It's only a medicine for when you need it too. And it's common. In Mexico, everybody knows rattlesnake is medicine. And it's been used for since thousands of years. Thousands and thousands and thousands. But right now in Mexico, it's illegal. Yeah, it's illegal in Mexico now. 
Why you think so? I think, honestly, I think it's illegal because of the great benefits of it. I don't think it's illegal because it's a, it's something that it's going extinct soon or anything. No, I have friends that go to the forest and there's hundreds and hundreds of rattlesnakes that they come back with. And I believe just because it's a powerful medicine, everything that is illegal is good for you. Yeah, because the same thing with the chaparral. A lot of people tell me, Victor, that's poison. I Google that. I hope the I say it's poison. But you be using the uh, the chaparral, you know, the more no like gobernadora. Yeah. You have any patient to tell you it's how? No, the, uh, the chaparral affect my kidney or my liver. Never, right? Never. Never. I I've been telling people to drink chaparral for years. I don't have one person that ever had an issue with it. Even if they make it strong, because sometimes they don't know how to prepare it, and they'll make it too strong. But even then, nobody's ever gotten sick from drinking chaparral. Same thing with duck flower. They say duck flower is poisonous. You never poison nobody. It <laughs> never kill nobody. You know? So I think that's that, you know? I, yeah. believe, I believe it has to do with that because it's good for you and we live in a world that is fake it's the matrix the world is upside down anything they tell you is good for you is killing you normal is actually toxic nowadays because it's normal for you to go to your friends and drink some beer and hang out it's normal to have a, a party and all the family goes and they all eat poison food that's normal in society nowadays but it's also toxic so we have to get away from what normal is because it's it's an upside down upside down world you know? what are you thinking when people say oh god i know you plan why you give diabetes to my mom high blood pressure you think god give diabetes to the people you think god tried to make people suffer god god is always good god will never make you suffer is because you violated the natural laws the and, and, and yeah exactly and, and you did that to yourself God didn't tell you go eat all that sugar go eat all that drink alcohol eat all that meat God never tell you to do that what's more God tells you many times before you are about to die to change he's he's so good that you violate him for 20 years and for thousands of times he will tell you hey there's something wrong how because your head hurts if your head hurts that's God telling you something through your body now if, if you have a, a pain in the stomach that is not God punishing you that is God telling you there's something you gotta fix so that's very far from the truth God is good always hello Yulin is a bigger leaf. This is, this is, this is not what I'm No. This looks like mulein to me. No? no the mulein is a fat leaf. And or also longer, a little bit more, more elongated, and, then, and it's a shorter, much shorter bush. Yeah. You know? This is massive, bro. But definitely respiratory air right here. Definitely. Right now we're going to talk. Oh, yeah, they are, man. Wow. Tuna, like you know, from the cactus. No, I know. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Fuck you up. Just go to Lobo? Okay, okay. Slowly, yeah. man. This tuna, you know, the cactus is good for diabetes, for chlorophyll. Yeah. You know, finally clean it. Clean it. 
like on your queen. But I don't want to get a bit up. So you clean and you clean it. Why you don't grab it? Hmm? Hell no, you have a like little thing. Oh. On the back of the skin. See the little thing over there? The thorn. Hell yeah. Just good. Good. Bendiciones familia, ¿qué tal? Gracias a a Citlalo que estamos acá con Víctor, también Bowman. Y vean lo que nos acabamos de encontrar: uvas salvajes, silvestres. Esta es la comida que le va a nutrir a usted a nivel celular como nada más. Vea usted qué pequeñitas son. En la naturaleza, la fruta natural siempre es pequeñita. Nosotros estamos acostumbrados a ver fruta gigantesca. Entre más grande, menos natural es. Vea usted lo pequeñita que son estas uvas. Crecen gratis, a toneladas, en todas partes del mundo en realidad. Y usted puede tomarlas, consumirlas de esta manera. Son muy dulces, tienen un sabor muy rico. Y son naturales. Y como le repito, no le cuesta nada. Dios le bendiga a usted y a su familia hoy siempre. Gracias. English, Thank English. You, English, English. <laughs> What is that? Blueberry? Wow. Wild berry, man. Wild berry, bro. A wild berry, huh? Try it out. I'm great. Eat wild some. Great. Say something about it, Victor. Mm. I like it. That's not good. Some good shit. You know, I was here in the water, swimming, with friends. Oh, what's that? What's that coming? That's a shark? <laughs> Así es, Vida Kalina. Así es. Acá andamos. Mira nada más que chulada. Están los camaradas también. Disfrutarlo. Aquí siempre viene. Vamos. 
sí, güey, pero si me meto, güey, ya no me saca, cabrón. ¿Por qué no? No sé nadar, güey. Y no sabe nada, la verga. This one is making me remember Honduras. So you look that gray, it's wild gray. You see the sea over there? It's high in calcio and yeah, not the minerals. You see how beautiful? It's growing for free, wow. Much love.